Hey everyone, welcome back to my Ansible tutorial, and in this video we are going to go over using tags in our playbooks and our tasks to make them run more efficiently. In the previous videos we did not use tags, so whenever we ran the playbook we would have to run both plays, the play for the web server and the play for the proxy, but if we add tags we can run a specific play or we can run a specific task or a group of tasks. So it's a lot more efficient when you have large playbooks and you want to just run a portion of the play. So to get started, let's uh, hop into the playbook. This is lab number six for those following along with uh, labs. And I'm in the lab directory, which we've been building up here. And I have my playbook one and there's no tags associated with it yet so let's go ahead and add a tag and we will say tags and let's call this one web and then for our proxy play let's add a tag here and let's just call it proxy and now let's hop into the command line so I'm in the terminal now, and I need to get to my directory. So vagrant and lab. And I have my Ansible stuff here. All right, perfect. So I'm going to run get the command here, ansible-playbook, with my inventory file my playbook. And I'm adding this parameter, dash dash list dash tags. And I'm going to run that, and this is going to give, and this is going to report back what the tags are on my playbook. So I see that there's two plays in my playbook. There's one for the web servers, and there's one for the proxy. And you can see that we have that tag added now. So the proxy was added, and web was added to web servers. And then under tasks, I can see that it inherited the tag from the play as well. So that looks good to me. Let's rerun this command, but we will change list tags to just tags. And let's, let's uh, do it for the proxy. So I'll hit vagrant. And now that I'm running this, it should only run plays for the web servers. Or sorry, it should only run plays for the proxy group, which is the load balancer. You'll see that it still gathers the facts for the web server. Um, that's because you might use the web variable in your other plays. So that's fine. Um, but everything else, it was just a play running for the proxy group, which is the load balancer server. So that looks good. And if we do the same, but change the tag to web, it will just do stuff for the two web servers. And you, as you can see, it's running all the plays associated with the web servers. Perfect. So I will clear the screen, and let's hop back into our code editor here, and let's start adding more tags. Let's start adding tags at the task level. So under my roles folder, I got Apache 2, Common, and Nginx. So let's go to Apache 2, and then under task, Apache 2 underscore install. And let's start adding tags here. So under here, we have two basic items, I guess you could say. We have an installation task, and then we have some configuration items. So let's tag these appropriately. I'm going to say tags installation. And then for this one, this looks like a configuration element to me. And so does this one. So I'll add that. That looks good for Apache. Let's go to common. Install tools. I will say, you can call it whatever you want, but I'll say installation. And then for Nginx, I will go to my tasks. 
and the install one, I will say installation. And for the configuration items, I'll name them configuration. So that looks good. Now all my tasks have tags associated with them. There's actually one more thing that I want to add a tag to, and it's in Apache 2. So let's go back to this file, Apache 2 underscore install. And I have this task here called make sure ensure Apache is running. I'm going to add a special tag here. And that tag is going to be the tag of always. So what this means is no matter what tag you use, this task will always be run. So since it's an important task of making sure uh, Apache is running, um, it's good that we always run it. So that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and run our playbook, but change the tag to just installation. And this time, we should see uh, the plays being run and the tasks being run for the web server as well as the load balancer, but it'll just be the installation items. So you can see install the common packages, and then we have uh, ensure Apache is the latest version. That looks good. Proxy, install common packages. I think it missed something in the proxy server here. Let's go to our Nginx tasks, install packages, installation, that looks good, install nginx packages. Okay, it missed this one because my indentation wasn't working. There we go, a little bit of troubleshooting. If I run it again, we should see that it runs correctly this time. Okay, there we go. Now the load balancer's making sure that it ran that install nginx packages as well as the common packages. All right, that was exactly what we were expecting. Uh, let's rerun another play here. But installation we will change to configuration. And you can see it's writing all the configuration items. So that's perfect. There's one more thing that is very important to know about tags. And that is you can run two tags at once just by doing common, uh, comma separated. So I could go web slash configuration. Now if I were to run this, most people would think this is going to be sort of like an AND clause where it's only going to run configuration items for the web servers. But it's actually the opposite. It's going to run everything for the web. So configuration, installation, anything that's in the web uh, play. And then it's going to run everything that is a configuration task or play. So it will run all the configuration items for Nginx and all that. So let's go ahead and run the play, and you'll see what I mean. <clears throat> so you can see uh, it's doing installation tasks, um, basically every single task for the web servers. And then for the load balancer, it's doing the configuration items as well. So if you want to be specific, like web configuration items, you would have to go into the actual tasks of the web play and do name it, give it a unique tag name, something like that. And that would work. Um, in your configuration items, you could give uh, more than one tag. So you could be like Nginx configuration, right? And if I were to run this, this should just run that one task. 
as well as the one this one was set to always so it's running this gathering facts also always runs um, but the only like real play and real task other than the defaults and the always one that got ran here was the install nginx because we were very specific about the tag and we added an extra tag to that task so that's basically all you need to know in regards to tags I hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed it please hit the like button if you would like to see more content from me please subscribe and in the next video we are going to go over variables and how to make your plays a lot more dynamic it's a very important concept for Ansible one of the most important ones that you will learn so please join me for that thanks and I hope to see you all in the next video